happy day, I'm glad. And today we celebrate oddly satisfying in the it requires talent or it's my job variety. It's not just gonna be the old classic, I'm stomping in sand and look how cool and squishy that looks, even though it is quite mesmerizing. There's gonna be a little bit more to it than that. For example, this girl's just getting to business, okay? She is just getting to <laughs> See, I'd be really afraid of putting my feet in between that one and doing the roll, like kind of misjudging where to put my feet through and then rolling the pole over my knees and then breaking my knees. Like the reason why it's satisfying and why it requires so much talent is because she knows her way around this thing and she's really good at it. That is so satisfying to watch. I love it. This is a classic, pulling the paint out of the bucket. I don't know why, but it definitely looks like bubblegum ice cream. And it definitely looks like something that this person did at work. <laughs> and that's why I included it. But I'm not like, honestly, I'm not sure. Oh, doesn't it just remind you of like those peel off masks where you like put it on and then you just like peel it off your skin and you try to get it in like one perfect peel. That's kind of what this is. It's like, it's in the fact that it all comes out. Oh, what do you do with the paint after though? Okay, so I thought that this one was really beautiful. She's just making a little collage. She's taking out like little pages and like colors pieces of paper and like tapes that she finds very appealing, different textures, and putting it all together. Apparently it really helps this girl with her anxiety. It's a beautiful way to journal without having to like spill your guts on the page. It's a cool way to express your individuality. And I noticed that all of the comments are like, then what? Why? Like a lot of the comments were really confused and I found it so strange that they were so confused because to me this act in itself like seems so satisfying and so fulfilling. How cool. Oh, please. Are you gonna stamp that wax girl? She's totally gonna Oh, yes. I love it. It's so fairy like. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, clay making. Something that I've tried and is so much harder than it looks. Clay's been a little sus a few times, but the precision. Wow. Huh? I really like this because I really like how mini it is. I didn't know you would light it like that. They are spinning this clay so fast. How has it not melted by now? Oh, this is just so satisfying. And the amount of practice it would take to get so good that you can do it at this level. Wow, that's so satisfying. <gasps> Mud sculpture, you devil. Wow. <laughs> Round of applause. It's flawless. It's perfect. Wish I could do it myself. This is the kind of content that makes me feel like I'm gonna be okay. So this is something that I've always wondered how it's done. They're putting the grass back in the hole and they're going to make it look like a hole was never there. What, I didn't even know that this was a thing, but presumably it is a thing, right? Because you have to switch like the course every once in a while. You put the holes in different places, kind of like at a climbing gym where you like put the rocks in different places so that people don't get bored. Look how good and fresh this looks. I can still kind of see, what is this? Why does it have to be so meticulous? It doesn't make sense to me. Are golf course people really this crazy? Like you better fill up that hole perfect, otherwise I'm never coming here again. Actually probably, right? Because part of what's satisfying about golf is like, it all just being like this perfect uniform green. Our man here is making a do not enter sign. He's at work, he's working hard. Look at the beauty, look at the precision, look at the symmetry. I mean, truth be told, I'm not that impressed, but I've always wondered how these are made. I've never thought about it. I like his little painted nails. This guy definitely looks like he's really good with his hands. Is that? Wait, this must be like the stickiest thing in the world. For some reason, I thought that these were all like printed out like as one, even though that's kind of impossible. That's so crazy how he's working with his hands and he's like able to make it line up so well. She spent a long time making this just so she could work up to this moment. And now it's all done. I mean, <laughs> a lot of hard work, a lot of precision, a lot of talent behind this one. Bang. And now she is going to vacuum for the next three days. Was it worth it? I'm not sure. Okay, so truth be told, I don't know what what this thing is, but I want one really, really badly. This is an amazing science toy video by Mr. Mindblow. It looks Japanese. I mean, it says Tokyo on it and this looks Japanese, but I want it so bad. What is that? Is this art? Okay, so this is just a really talented guy who's like rendering these things that look real that I want to buy But I can't buy it incredible work. I assume this person spent all day building these letters into the sand Oh the shaving to make it perfect. This is oddly satisfying of the sand variety But it took a little bit of elbow grease to get here. Okay, how are the letters so clean? Like I feel like if I did this the sand would dry so much I would do this with it and it would just crack and it would look horrible like this is the perfect wetness of sand. How do you keep it so perfectly moist? Do you spray it with a spray bottle? I want to see what you work towards. It's just the man cleaning off the D. <laughs> 
It's not what it sounds like. This guy does like a lot of like different- Ooh, that is a clean G. I think it was worth the work. This is one of the most devastating TikToks I've ever seen. I'm not gonna lie to you. This TikTok hurt me personally and made me want to attack and punch walls. I thought that this actually was cookie dough. It is not. And I didn't find out until she said, this is one of my favorite scents. It smells exactly like cookie dough. It's slime. I wanted this consistency of milk, that consistency of cookie. I want it. I want it so bad! But this is just like a girl at work doing her thing, running her slime shop. I want that forbidden cookie badly. So I absolutely love restoration. They're about to polish this coin into a mirror. I just love this kind of stuff. Like I love rock cleaning. Wow, that is so bright. Pennies, like I think we're so used to them looking so gross that I think that a lot of us think that copper is just this weird, like kind of musty color when really, wow. It's like a piece of art. Coins are so shiny when they new. Who would've thought? Found a goose egg while in the water fishing. I assumed that it was an egg that was abandoned and lucky for this person, they have the talent and the know-how to incubate the egg, which is something that I wish that I had. When I was little, I found an egg and I really thought that if I just kept it warm, it would hatch, but that's just not the case. So little guy, a yikers. He's hatching. Oh, oh my goodness. Is there anything cuter than a little baby? A little baby goose, a little baby duck. Look at that little thing. <gasps> there is. Oh, got him some siblings. Where'd you get the siblings? Man, science rules. The fact that you can be the same as a mother goose's butt and you can bring this little guy to life and give him the chance that he almost didn't have. Oh, it thinks you're its mom. <laughs> look at that glitter. She's about to mix this glitter into this paint and it's about to look like a vortex. Like it's about to look like we are entering a different realm. Oh my God. It looks like an alien's makeup kit. It looks like a vortex, a portal. It was fun for this person to mix. It was fun for me to watch. Here we have some very satisfying engraving. It kind of tickles me in the wrong way. I can't explain why. It kind of reminds me of like nails on a chalkboard sometimes. I can't even really file my nails correctly for this reason. Like it really just kind of bleh. How is this person working with their hands and so precise and so talented though? I don't know and I don't understand and I never will. The neighbor to the right wants me to leave an 18 inch strip of grass because it's this yard. I don't know what that means. I didn't cut the strip, but I shut my blades off and turned on it because this is a hill. Okay, this is some kind of crazy lawnmower talk. He was watching me on his cameras. Where is this camera? This is the highest camera I've ever seen. Like it is so satisfying watching this guy at work. Wait for it. Here he comes. <gasps> oh. Okay, extraordinarily wealthy people are so weird. Like I'm just watching through my skyscraper camera and if this man doesn't mow the lawn the way that I want, I'll ooh, I'll give him a talking to, that's for sure. These little streaks in the lawn, even as a kid, I've always really, really liked them. I liked looking at the short grass compared to the long grass. I don't know, there's just something about it. And I always used to get my dad to leave me like a long circle of grass that I could play in. Ha! Huh. You know, like the arrows that are on parking lot floors, they're filling that one in and oh, if this could just be my job, if I could just do this, this all day. Woo! He's precise with it. Please, 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 please pull the tape off in this video. You have to. I'll kill you if you don't. No! It's the sheer ease of this for me. It's the sheer ease that makes it satisfying. This guy's really just out to lunch. Like this guy is on a picnic. This is a YouTube channel called Gravity Industries and apparently this is a thing. You can just fly now. I wonder how much these things cost. I saw somebody like flying around on a hoverboard in a TikTok and apparently they're like 25 grand now, which is kind of crazy. But the idea of like these technologies becoming more mainstream and like the price coming down. Kind of exciting. We're gonna need like air traffic control for these flying people. I just thought that this took a lot of talent. This is different video game runs. Okay, so there's Sonic, cute. Minecraft, is, if that's not exact. Fortnite, if that's not exact. GTA, ugh. It's exact! I don't think anyone's nailed it like this guy. Have you seen these videos of like this guy sawing things down? I thought that you were like doing it with fruit and stuff, but this is a knife. This saw made short work of this knife. For some reason that makes me so nervous to watch. What does this guy do for a living? <gasps> a lollipop, we gotta get in this. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's breaking. Ooh, that's not very satisfying. And we're getting out of here. Okay, run, run guys, run! Woody, I'm so sorry, bud. I'm so sorry that it had to come to this. <laughs> Quite a pity, Mr. Bond. Ha. 
The caption is, it's like stepping into a fairy tale. It is. I'm in such awe over rooms that look like this. And especially because I'm from Canada and we're just not used to architecture of this caliber and like the roofs and stuff and like just the talent and the eye to detail. It's such a wonderful, wonderful thing. And I heard that in North America, we're a little bit like more sad because we all kind of live in the same shaped house and there's not a lot of like artfulness in the things that we like, the food that we eat, the buildings that we live in. And apparently that can have quite an impact on how you feel. I thought this eyeliner was really sad. Satisfying. Mmm, girl, those lines are so clean. Your lines are like a laser pointer. I really, really like this style of eyeliner. I just don't have the balls, okay? I don't have the balls, but it is stunning to watch. So do you remember we were watching the scrapbooking and like there was a really nice wax press? Somebody requested a wax press that does not overflow over the wax presser. A perfect circle. So this was meticulously done to try to please audience members such as myself and yourself. The fact that we got to watch one that doesn't have overflow is really nice. Mmm. Ooh, ah. All right, guys, that is all the satisfying with talent, with work, with some elbow grease. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please make sure you check out the creators that were featured in this video. And if you'd like to see me again, make sure you push notifications. I will see you on the next one. Bye.